Today we're going to look at the signs and symptoms seen in hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism, comparing them next to each other. In another video, I go more in depth on hypo and hyperthyroidism. So if you're looking for a more in depth of one of them, go check out those videos. But knowing the difference between the signs and symptoms are really important for the NCLEX. That way, when you get select all that apply questions, which you will, asking, which of the following are signs and symptoms seen in hyperthyroidism? You can answer these questions with confidence. And at the end of this video, we're gonna do a practice NCLEX style question. Quick review of the thyroid gland and what it does. The thyroid gland helps with metabolism, like burning calories. It helps with growth. And the thyroid gland gives you energy. So hyperthyroidism think high signs and symptoms. And for hypothyroidism, think low signs and symptoms. So now let's compare thyroid hormones. So hyperthyroidism, think high thyroid hormone, T3 and T4, and low thyroid stimulating hormone. And for hypothyroidism, it's the opposite. Low thyroid hormones, T3 and T4, and high thyroid stimulating hormone. Now let's compare their moods. For hyperthyroidism, these clients are going to be super excited. Remember, they have a lot of energy. They're gonna be nervous, irritable, and for hypothyroidism, think of a low mood. They're gonna be depressed and fatigued. Now let's compare the temperature. Hyper think hot and hypo think cold. So clients with hyperthyroidism are gonna have heat intolerance and clients with hypothyroidism are gonna be intolerant to cold. So let's look at the skin and the hair. Remember, the thyroid gland is responsible for growth. So in hyperthyroidism, we have a lot of growth. So you're gonna see smooth, soft skin as well as soft hair. But I also said that they're heat intolerance. That's why you're gonna see sweaty skin. So for hypothyroidism, we don't have a lot of growth going on. So that's why we see dry skin that is brittle and even hair loss. Now let's look at appetite and weight. So hyperthyroidism, think high appetite and weight loss. And for hypothyroidism, it's gonna be the opposite. They have a low appetite, but weight gain. Don't let this one trick you on the NCLEX. Think about it. Think of an athlete who is training and burning lots of calories. They have huge appetites after a game, but they just can't seem to gain weight. It's kind of the same thing with hyperthyroidism. These patients are so hyper with big appetites, they just burn it off right away and don't gain any weight. In hypothyroidism, they have low metabolism, so they're not burning calories. That's why we see weight gain despite having a decreased appetite. Let's compare the eyes. So in hyperthyroidism, we see something called exothalmus. This is bulging eyes due to fluid accumulation behind the eyes. A memory trick for this is think excess thyroid for exothalmus. In hypothyroidism, we more have generalized puffiness and edema around the eyes and the face. This is called myxedema. As for the GI function and hyperthyroidism, we have a hyper GI, so we're gonna see diarrhea. And on the opposite of that, in hypo, we have a slow GI. That's why we see constipation. Now let's compare vital signs. This is really simple. Hyper think high vital signs and hypo think low vital signs. So in hyper, we see increased blood pressure and increased heart rate. In hypo, we see decreased heart rate and decreased blood pressure. Clients with hyperthyroidism will have a goiter. This is an enlarged thyroid gland. Remember, the thyroid is producing too much thyroid hormone. It's working over time, so this makes the thyroid enlarged. For hypothyroidism, a goiter may or may not be present, but the important thing to know is that a goiter is a classic symptom of hyperthyroidism. Now let's do a practice question to test the knowledge we just learned. You are caring for a client with Graves' disease, hyperthyroidism. Which of the following signs and symptoms would you expect to see? Select all that apply. Extreme fatigue. This is a symptom of hypothyroidism, not hyperthyroidism. Weight loss. Clients with hyperthyroidism have a lot of energy and increased metabolism, so they tend to lose weight despite having an increased appetite. 
exothalamus. Clients with hyperthyroidism will have exothalamus. Remember the memory trick. Think excess thyroid for exothalamus. Sensitivity to cold. This is a symptom of hypothyroidism, not hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism is the opposite. These clients tend to be sensitive to heat. Hyperactivity. Yes, clients with hyperthyroidism have a lot of energy. That's all for the difference between the signs and symptoms seen in hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism. So when you get that NCLEX question, that's select all that apply, you can answer it with total confidence. Happy studying future nurses. If you need more help with nursing school and the NCLEX, be sure to hit that subscribe button.